Welcome back to Moto Blade, everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing the brand new FG17 helmet from HJC. Let's get started. This is the FG17, stands for fiberglass FG. It's a fiberglass Kevlar matrix, and it's supposedly one of the best helmets that HJC makes as far as safety. It is DOT, ECE, and most importantly, Snell M2015 rating approved. So, let's open this baby up, see what we got, and uh, talk a little bit about the helmet. I do want to mention, I'm not supported by Revzilla in any way, but I did order the helmet through Revzilla for this video, and they included some really nice uh, Revzilla stickers, and it says if you tag these in your photos online, you can win 100 bucks or even a full refund. That's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Get that box. So out of that whole box, we got our owner's manual the Revzilla stickers, and our helmet in a really nice soft HJC microfiber cloth case. There we go. Haven't even looked at it yet from the front. Front, sides, ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. That is a good looking helmet. I like the red markings. They had this in green, and I think a pink or a purple, but I've always liked red. That's my favorite color. So I went with the red and black and white graphics. It looks really damn good. So let's talk a little bit about the helmet. It's got their rapid fire replacement shield system. You can just pop these two little knuckles on the sides. Take the shield right off, no big deal. Pop your new one on and it's supposedly one of the faster shield replacement systems on the market. Okay, so that took me a minute to figure out, but Pretty easy system. It's also got the pin lock visor, so I can put the anti-fog pin lock shield on the inside and keep myself from fogging, which that might actually be a good idea to get one of those. Let's go ahead and take the shield protector off. Oh yeah. So, it's got two vents up top, activated just by pressing up or down on these little switches. And we've got one vent right in the front, right here, for open, closed, coming through the chin. Uh, breath deflector on the inside. And then on the back, we have the rear exhaust ports, which look very nicely machined. They have a metallic finish to them. And this is all designed to shear off in an accident. So this uh, panel back here with the rear exhaust ports and these two inlets up here, these can crack off if they need to during impact. So that way the helmet just has the rounded piece and your head sliding across the pavement. Won't catch on anything. It won't snap your neck. If this were to like get caught on something, it would be, uh, it would break off. It's designed to do that. That's part of what gives this helmet the Snell safety rating is the ability for everything to shear off the helmet so it's just a rounded dome to protect your head in the safest way possible during an accident. Now I also ordered a chin curtain for this helmet that's gonna go on down here. 
can see nothing fancy, just your standard D-ring buckles, like any other, pretty much any other helmet out there. I do like the quick release I have on my current helmet now, but my current helmet is only DOT approved, and it's not the safest thing. So I'm willing to take HJC's judgment on this, that the D-ring system is safer. Well, that's actually pretty comfortable. The cheek pads might be a little too tight for my face, but HJC makes uh, different size cheek pads, so if you need them a little bit thinner or a little bit thicker, you can customize the adjustment of the helmet. But overall, up around the top of my head and around the sides, this fits really nice. Feels comfortable. I think it looks pretty good. Hope it does. So one last quick thing here. I already said that I'm not sponsored by Revzilla. And I want to make that clear, but this was my first time buying from them, and it was a flawless experience. They have a price match guarantee, and so I found this helmet elsewhere for like $50 less. And I contacted Revzilla on their live chat, and within 30 seconds, they price matched the helmet for me. Saved me 50 bucks, and it was just a great experience end-to-end. -end. They have fast, free shipping. They made a repeat customer out of me. They really earned my business, and so I was very happy with the overall buying experience. As far as the helmet goes, Snell approved, good ventilation, nice visor. Uh, not much more I can say just with the unboxing. I will do a review video on it after I've put some serious miles on it and uh, give you guys my opinion at that time. But I'm not expecting to have any issues with the helmet. It looks good. HJC is a good reputable brand and uh, this should be good for a while. I am going to do one more video with the helmet before I take it out and that is going to be doing my moto vlogging setup showing you guys how to set up my GoPro on here with the microphone adapter and all that junk I use for moto vlogging and then she'll be ready to hit the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button that lets me know you like what I'm doing here and that you appreciate the content on my channel. If you really like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of awesome motorcycle videos coming up. I've done a few videos in the garage this winter and even a few skiing videos because I still got a couple feet of snow on the ground here, but spring is coming. I will have plenty of new motorcycle videos coming out this summer. So subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, click the bell icon next to it, and I'll let you guys get notifications when there's new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. So until next time, y'all, you know what to do. Be careful out there, ride safe, ride on, and I will catch all of you later. Deuces.